folks. Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger. Today is Monday, April 6th. I think that's right. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday. <laughs> okay, anyway, I just wanted to come on. First of all, first things first, most importantly, oh, I have finished. Finally, I have finished my subscribe pillow. That yarny zebra had that challenge going on. And then I won um, uh, <laughs> Edna's, oh gosh, Crafty Grandma. Oh, oh my goodness, names of channels. <laughs> I won Edna's giveaway and I got white and red. Um, um, Red Heart, <laughs> so I made, I said, okay, that's what I've got to do, and that's what I did, I got it done, so what do I got to do now, Dora Beth, I guess put it on um, your Facebook page, right, I'm holding y'all on my tripod, I'm sorry, that's all I can do, I'm in my, um, what's going to be my she shack, and um, I was inspired, guys, <clears throat> yesterday I saw a video, I don't know, like, how true it is, but um, it really, it really hit at home. Anyway, here's what I heard on the video. The Czech Republic is like super duper low with their cases there. And they're doing everything we're doing. Washing, hands, staying, very, you know, trying to be germ-free that way and like maintaining distance uh, the one thing that they were required to do from the get-go, besides those things, was cover their face. And it spurred the entire country on to start making face coverings. And so I I was not going to go out and try to buy anything, not that I even could or would know where to go that would be open, but... I found, um, oh gosh, I didn't pick any up. I'll just have to show you here. I found some cotton fabric that I had kept um, from cleaning out my aunt's house. And I have an entire garbage bag full of t-shirts that I was saving to make t-shirt yarn. <laughs> and I found elastic. I had elastic in a drawer. So I broke out the old uh, Kenmore here. And just went to town. This one's for my husband. Um, it's got the lining is the cotton I was telling you about. And then the t-shirt right here. Inside, um, at the top of the nose, I also found, well, I don't have them, the floral wire. You know, the floral wire. Took some wire cutters, cut them, and, and just sewed them right into the top up here so you can form it around your nose. That's something that I've always had a problem with wearing glasses. Just any old mask, when I breathe in the glasses, breathe in the mask, my glasses would fog up and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I really do like the masks that, you know, have that piece of bendable metal in there that I could form and make sure it goes under my glasses. It's very helpful. So anyway, FYI, I am not experienced on the sewing machine. I am not. And these things are pretty crude. I mean, you know, but serve the purpose and this is the pattern for these they come in different like sizes um is from sweet red poppy dot com sweet red poppy dot com and um hey it's not a big deal you know it's not a big deal to do i did it if i can do it anybody can do it we need to stop the spread um masks are not the mask, the personal mask that we're you that we can use, guys, they're not protective, okay. But the main point is they're preventative, okay. So some people might say, "Well, hey, I'm not sick. I don't have symptoms." That don't mean that don't mean you won't get sick. That doesn't mean that you've got it in you. And until we can all be tested to see if we're a carrier or if we have it, there's no way to know if you've got it or not, right? That's just my two cents. So I think if we all 
I mean, and you can just, anything, anything would be helpful. Even if you just tie a bandana and look like a burglar <laughs> around your face. That would be helpful, you know? I'm actually going to try to see if I can make some little slits in here to insert some coffee filters or um, vacuum cleaner filters because that might be a little more helpful too, you know? So anyway, that's just my two cents. Um, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to keep making masks. And then my honey, my hubby, he gives me honey-do lists. It's, it's not me giving him honey-do lists. I've been watching the bod squad. <laughs> It's me. It's him giving me honey-do lists. Guys, I have been sweating. I had online class today for some of my wee little tots tap class. It was so fun. It's wonderful to see them. Makes me sad, but it's still wonderful to see them and play around with them a little bit. I know it's tap. it was tap class, but uh, it feels like fun to me. I hope they have fun. Anyway, oh, while I was at it, I went and did a little tap ditty for you. Um, I want to go ahead and preface the, and I'll tag it on the end of this video. I want to preface the, the surface, <laughs> the surface that I'm tapping on in the video. <laughs> now it's not clogging guys. This is what you're going to see is tap. But, um, years and years and years ago, I had, um, an idea to do some choreography with, with different sounds in a tap dance. Kind of like tap dogs. If you've ever seen tap dogs, um, and so I needed different surfaces and found out that one of the daddies of one of my tap students worked at the Department of Transportation and he got me a road sign. <laughs> Makes a pretty cool sound. A little scratchy, scrapey, but anyway, that's what I'm on, okay? Um, I guess that's it, guys. I'll try to come on soon again. Stick around for a little tap ditty. See you later. Bye.